on the Cahaba this morning. And Michael, where is all this bacteria coming from? Yeah, that uh, bacteria count can come from any number of sources. I want to introduce David Butler, who's the Cahaba Riverkeeper. Good morning. Good morning. And you guys go out every week and you test the water here. Kind of walk us through what you guys do and the, and the stuff that you use to kind of get those samples. Okay, so we do uh, we do a program called Swim Guide. We do uh, us and the Coosa Riverkeeper. Um, funded by the Community Foundation of Greater Birmingham. We go out every Thursday and collect samples. And we collect at 12 sites, the Coosa River uh, collects at 18 sites uh, so we collect on Thursday we take um, you know a bag just like this one okay. we use our gloves here Safety first. Uh, we collect a uh, sample of water and then we we sample for you know different um, parameters at the water uh, conductivity pH that sort of thing uh, so then we collect this water put it in a bag take it over to the lab at Coosa River Keeper and uh, incubate the samples for 18 hours and then we post the results every Friday and why is it so important to to test? Because there's nobody else out there right now testing the water quality. Why is it so important to you guys that you do that? Well, because as we've seen, um, so this is our third year, and we've seen some um, really questionable results at times. And, and so it's important because people people really want to know. Um, they get out, they swim, they canoe, they kayak, they fish. And so just really knowing what's going on is um, really important for the public uh, to sort of know what they're getting into when they get out on the water. And, of course, if you want to check out that swim guide, there is a link right now over at WIT.com with this story on the homepage. It'll send you right over to the latest results. They get posted every Friday here. And so that way you can check out your favorite spot along the Cahaba River for all types of information, including that E. coli bacteria count. We're live in Birmingham this morning. Michael Loder, CBS 42 News.